It's Tuesday. I am uh, leaving the office. I had a meeting uh, this morning, actually, with a, a discipleship group. Uh, some guys that I'm studying the Bible with and had a great time. We're actually studying prophecy. And so we're in Daniel chapter 9 this morning. But now I'm headed over to meet uh, with a guy named Chris. He and his family just joined Ebenezer. And uh, so he's actually getting ready, speaking at a conference. And uh, so he wanted to meet with me and talk about some of his notes and those things. Have a meeting today with uh, Jody Heiss, who is our congressman, and uh, for District 10, which I actually live in the district and the churches in the district, and so we're going to be hearing from him as far as uh, issues that are going on and things that he's facing on Capitol Hill, and how we can be in prayer for him and uh, things that we can do, which I think are important for us to do our part as Christians. So yeah, packed full day. Things going on, a lot of moving parts, but praise the Lord, it's a beautiful day. Check out that sunshine. Chris is actually doing a uh, leading a conference, is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, leading a conference. And so, what are you going to be teaching on? Family values. No, <laughs> leadership, family leadership. Family leadership. And so we're just hanging out, going to talk about what he's going to teach on. But the problem is, a lot of people put expectations on you. Uh-huh. And you have your own expectations and how things should go. Mm-hmm. Verse 1. It says, Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. It's very clear to me this is a spiritual problem. Uh, you cannot you cannot rationally get to some of the decisions that that are uh, being embraced right now with any rational thinking. And so the only explanation is this is a spiritual darkness, spiritual blindness. It is a spiritual condition. I've been in meetings all day and, uh, but praise the Lord, good things happening. So I started off this morning. Well, the first thing really wasn't a meeting. It was more like a Bible study, uh, kicking off a new Bible study with a couple guys in the church and looking forward to that. And, uh, then I had a meeting with, uh, Chris showed you guys him and then I had a meeting with some pastors and uh, our congressman for district 10 Jody Heiss man he had some phenomenal things to say but I tell you the big takeaway from that meeting is you know he reminded us that uh, the big problem in this country is not a political problem it's a spiritual problem and uh, if we have a spiritual problem the solution must be a spiritual solution and uh, I know that people debate about this but there's there's really no debate and uh, that is that you cannot legislate morality and it doesn't matter what kind of laws you put in place it doesn't matter what kind of legislation you have if people's hearts are not right um, then laws won't protect you and so they may restrain evil uh, but at the core, it, it won't fix the problem. And so, man, we need to pray for our country and our nation and the things that are going on. We really need revival in a serious way. And uh, now I'm actually headed over to meet RJ. Uh, we got to go over some details uh, about the church and some stats and these kind of things, uh, trying to figure out uh, just information so that we can plan for our next season at Ebenezer. But, um, Praising the Lord for what He's doing. God's good, and it's a beautiful day. All right, everybody, big things going on this week at Ebenezer. Uh, we missed it yesterday because um, I had meetings, but guess what? Yesterday was it's Tanner's birthday. Look at this cake. It's an Oreo ice cream cake. Miss, Miss Lisa's breaking it open. Look at this thing. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. That was good. Thanks, we, guys. We didn't want to put candles because it might melt the ice cream. Yeah. 
And I made Tanner hot dog for lunch. Y'all check out that hot dog. Ooh. Check it out. Look at that view. Oh, yes. Check out this boy. Look at that dog. Tanner, you the man, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad you like ice cream cake for your birthday. So, Caroline and Nathan and I um, <laughs> were watching Guinness Book of World Records. We watched a guy eat nine hot dogs in three minutes, which was interesting. So now Caroline says she wants to set a world record for keeping a an apple. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> She's got to set a world record for keeping an apple on her head the longest than anybody in the world. Oh, oh. <laughs> so we're going to keep practicing. I'll keep y'all posted.